Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Zanita. So you guys read the title. We are back to try some new products. Let's get started with none other than one size new product. This is the new all control, all sucker extreme mattifying alkaline primer. That is such a long name. However, if you are new here, I am combination oily skin, so therefore you know in my T-zone areas, the girl produces so much oils, especially on the five head, but we're gonna get into trying this product right here. So let's read the instructions, or let's read about it first. It states, extreme oil control, all day mattifying effect, non comedogenic y'all know i can't read won't clog pores dermatologist tested it has uh alkaline ph helps reduce excess oil to balance and mattify 15 percent mineral silicate complex which tightens the appearance of pores micro hyaluronic acid prevents over drying and then the instructions say shake well before use apply a smooth thin layer onto complete dry skin and oily areas only for the best results allow the product to dry for three minutes while while remaining expressionless so let's get right into this like so one size or so sleek and this shelf life is six months so you have six months to get it used so let's get it on i'm just gonna put it in my oily areas so this is what it looks like I'm just gonna take a small amount. It says a really thin layer. That's what the product looks like. Let's put it in the T-zone area. Okay. And immediately, you guys, you can see that shine going away. Okay. Wow. And we're gonna take another thin layer down the bridge of my nose because I do get oily there. And it says to remain expressionless, so don't make any faces. And then none, last but not least, on my chin. And I don't wanna really move too much cause I don't wanna make any expression. So it says for like best results, three minutes. So I'm gonna put it here on my top look cause I do also produce oils there. But immediately, it took the shine away. We're back after three minutes. As you can see, it does leave like this little white cast here, like a little, I don't know how you describe it, but like it peels. So you definitely wanna let it dry for the three minutes, if you will. However, it definitely took the shine away. So we're gonna see how product applies on top of that. But also, I also want to try the new CoverGirl True Blend Skin Enhancer Velvet Blur Primer. This is just for my pores, so we're going to see if this product blurs the skin. Y'all, they have been coming with the products, you hear me? Okay. I like how that feels. It definitely feels like skincare, so we're just going to put that on the pores. And I feel like it's definitely blurring the skin so we're just gonna put that all over the perimeter where i didn't put the one size primer all right so next we are going to move into one of the main reasons why i've decided to do this video yeah so rare beauty has released a new press powder this is the true to myself tinted press finishing powder i got mine in the shade honey we are gonna attempt to try it so what i'm thinking is I do have the Rare Beauty Skin Tint, which I absolutely love. This has SPF 25 in it, or I'm sorry, SPF 20 in it. If you are wondering, this is one of my favorite tinted sunscreens or tinted moisturizers with sunscreens to utilize. I highly recommend. So I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on and then try the powder. So this is what the packaging looks like. So cute, so sleek. And then this is the shade honey and of course it says you are rare love that but this is what it looks like so cute i hope this shade works it said if you use the shades 46c and i believe 48w in the tinted moisturizer then honey would be a perfect shade for you to use as a press powder so we're about to find it
All right, so the product definitely went over it nice and smooth. I was worried because of that little whiteness on it, but the product definitely went over it good. So back to the Rare Beauty powder. Once again, this is in the shade Honey. Now this is, once again, described as a tinted press finishing powder, which means you could probably wear this alone without any liquid product underneath, and it gives just the same effect as if you did. So this is probably really good for my girlies who are like me, oily and don't don't want to put on too much in the summer. So let's go ahead and put this on. We'll try to clean part. All right, guys, moment of truth here. So we're just gonna pack this on. Okay, so far so good. This is how it looks with this puff. And I like that. That looks like a really good shade. And it blurred here. I really like how it blurred. Okay. Bring it on up now. Nice. I like that. Let's bring it around the chin here. So what I want to do is I want to see how this is going to work with a brush. So we're going to take the powder brush, the dual ended powder brush from Sephora. And we're just gonna take a little bit of this so it doesn't have any kick back in the pan. And we're just gonna put it on with a brush. I'm liking how that looks. It's definitely blurring. Now if I have to be honest, I think I like the side with the puff more. So we're just gonna go back in with the puff you really put it on oh yeah hence the name press powder i like that more now you can see that's where i did put that one size primer and it's kind of like grabbing onto like a dry patch so i don't know i'm gonna take the brush how i feel about that now I do like one size products, but maybe like put like a super, super thin layer. Maybe my layer was a little too thick. So then we're gonna spray our face with none other than the e.l.f. Power Grip Setting Spray. Since we just used the mattifying product. So next I am hitting y'all with all kind of new stuff. I have the Fenty Gloss Balm Sticks. These are the High Shine Gloss Sticks and I have shades Sort of Selfish and Riri. And then I have the Lip Liner as well. This is the Trace Out Pencil Lip Liner. And the shade I have here is Extra Thigh because y'all literally sold them out of everything. So we're gonna put these to the test. Let's see. Let's start off with the Lip Liner. This is what it looks like. It looks like a muted brown. I'll swatch it for y'all. Okay, yeah, that is definitely like a really light brown. Kind of reminds me of Cork from MAC. We're gonna put this on. Okay. And these are supposed to be waterproof. Yeah, this is definitely like super close to my skin tone. I wish I could have got one of the deeper tone brown. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both. This is what it looks like. This is Riri once again. I'm just gonna swatch it here. Really creamy. So it's a pretty mauve shade. I don't think I'm gonna put that one on. And then we have sort of selfish and we'll just swatch it right here. And you can rarely see that, but it's like a, kind of reminds me of like honey waffles. So this is definitely the one that I'm going to put on. Ooh, I love the way they look. Definitely a really nice nude. But I will try on Riri for you guys. 
is my final look and this is what the shade Riri looks like. So I was gonna go with sort of selfish, but however, I'm really liking the pop of color that Riri is serving. So definitely gonna keep this one on. And y'all, when I sprayed the setting spray, y'all saw how the, it looks like the products were hanging onto the dry patches. When I sprayed this e.l.f. Power Grip setting spray, that literally disappeared. Like looking up close you cannot even see so definitely once you set it it's gonna be chef's kiss in the face although i got the dewy setting spray on it's definitely matte so definitely definitely loving it so what i am gonna do is, is it is kind of late in the day i don't know that people usually give like wear test of the pressed powder but i'm gonna give you guys a wear test of this all this pressed powder and everything so like I said, it's a little late in the day, so I'm going to try to give y'all at least like four or five hours. And we're going to see how this all goes. All right, I will see you guys soon. All right, y'all, so I am back for the final check-in. It is officially 8.34 p.m., if you guys can see that. So I've had this makeup on. Actually, I started the video and started to put my makeup on. Actually, probably at like, like 3.34. So we're roughly going on five hours. But overall, my face still looks pretty, pretty good. So I'm looking here in the mirror. But in the center of my face here where I applied the blurring primer from CoverGirl and also this primer from One Size, it looks really good. Like no oils are coming through. However, on my forehead, as you can see, I have the oils coming through on my eyebrows, which is normal. But on my forehead, you guys saw me sorry y'all <laughs> go ahead Paris. y'all saw me apply the one size primer and as you can see it does have a little bit of a glow to it however i'm not really mad at that i just think i could have probably put a little bit more but i was trying to do like a thin layer like the product recommended but overall y'all did see how it left like that little whiteness to it and when i put like powder on there was some um product that kind of latched onto dry spots but overall once i said it with the setting spray it melted down and you can't even tell and as far as the rare beauty product goes i really like this powder so far and as y'all can see like it looks really good on the face so i think this is gonna be like one of my staples for the rest of the summer or just in general i do want to see what it looks like on its own without using like a liquid underneath so i probably come back and do a video with y'all for that because it is considered a tinted pressed powder which means it probably can be worn on its own so definitely going to give y'all a video on that and one last thing if you saw my previous video on anastasia beverly hills bomb then you know you know, I, I was struggling with that. But I did get the updated shade in shade number 14. And I will bring you guys a video on this. So do not fret. Even if it's in a short, if it's in a full YouTube, you will definitely see this. So thank y'all once again for tuning in. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.